Hi guys, I just wanted to do a little home tour. We've lived here for just over a year and I did a home tour about a month in. Lots has changed since then. One thing that we finally got was one of these little skinny blinds so that people can't look in the window. I can't believe I went so long without it. But it just really makes it look like it completes the door uh, to have the blinds up there. And so, my dog can still see outside, so everybody's happy. <clears throat> and then turning this way as if you're coming through the front door. Um, yeah, we have the baby gate for the dogs, you know, it is what it is. But if you do want to turn this way to go into the um, office, <clears throat> this year, well, I hope I can get him to do this project for me. I want to do an accent wall over here. Um, this bench goes outside on the front porch during the summertime. And then um, I want to hang my Seinfeld sign and just some other memorabilia and get this room, you know, looking more like an actual office because it still looks like we just moved in. This is some eucalyptus with a little bit of a green cast to it, but I like the way it looked. And then the pot that it's in, I painted, um, I don't know if you saw it on my Instagram or not, it was a really ugly green color and I painted it matte black and put it in this little hallway here and put this barn picture over top of it. This front guest room used to have a TV stand and a TV in here, but whenever somebody spent the night, they never watched TV. And I'll show you what I did with the TV stand. So um, I just moved my little black table into here and everything else is the same, the drapes. We did get a different headboard over here, which adds some wood. Um, it's not so stark, it used to be white and um, I really like the way it turned out. Come on, Sophie. And then this is my hallway table or entryway nook or whatever. Uh, this mirror I bought at Goodwill. And it, no, no, I bought it at a craft fair and it was a gray that leaned really blue. And I just don't like that. So I put a coat of that black paint on it as well. And I like it much better. And then I just put some black and silver Christmas ornaments in this lantern and I've had everything else here for a while. I think that's supposed to be icy logs but I like it because it sparkles. And then I got these two sparkly little Christmas trees also at Goodwill. And then my laundry room, I, it's still, I desperately need to do something, but it looks a lot better than it did this morning because I did tweak it. I moved the dog food over here, extra laundry supplies over here, and I put um, cleaning supplies in that, and then that's my laundry stuff. I've got some pods left, but then I'm gonna start on this. I heard this was really good. And I just kind of put everything in baskets, organized it a little bit. I would love to take this shelf down, but every time I mention it, I get a big eye roll and he says it's gonna damage the wall because I really like to paint that wall, but I don't know if it's ever gonna happen, so. And then we just go back here to the living room well, living area. Um, I told you he wanted to put up a Christmas tree, so we did put up our little tree. And I mean, it all looks pretty. I always never want to do it, and then it looks pretty when it's done. I hate taking it down. But we rearranged the furniture. Um, originally, when we moved in, the couch was right here, and then the love seat was over here. Um, it just looked too uniform. So we moved it several weeks ago to the sofa being over here and the TV being over here and then the love seat at an angle. So 
that's what that looks like and we really like that it seems a lot cozier in here um the kitchen i made this little wreath all from the dollar tree it's just cost me however many i cut these apart so and stuck them in there and put a rib ribbon on it <laughs> I was finally able to get me a Space Saver Keurig. I found it on sale, so I'm liking that. And I got my bread box back out. And then over here, I've got this crock that came with a little tree in it, a live tree, and it's over here. I don't know if I can keep it alive. I'm not having a lot of luck these days, but I got it at Kroger at my grocery store weird right and then I picked this up at a craft fair it's just a small little cutting board you cut up apples or something on it and then I got the salt and pepper shaker or not shakers but it's for cooking you know for next year's stove and I really like it you just um, remove that you've got your salt lift that off you've got your pepper and you can just you use your pinch of salt and dash of pepper I think is what they call it there's my Walmart candle. Then I have my oils over here. That's dinner. Southwest chicken, if you want the recipe, let me know. I'm gonna put it in, um, in uh, tortilla wraps later when he gets home. And then I've got my flour and sugar here in these big containers. And I put some of my dishes that I got at Goodwill last summer with this little teacup. I put that in there. I know it's not a good measuring tool, but it looks good, you know? And then I've got this ladder with the t tea towel on it, and I just put some greenery. And I did paint the ladder black. Uh, it was white, and it was blending in too much on everything, so. And then I used to have like a variety of different things here underneath these floating shelves. And on camera, it still looks like it's mismatched, but in real life, it works. Um, so these pine cones in this metal thing, I did get at that craft fair. And um, the lantern I've had, and my candle looks like it needs batteries again. And then I have that tall candlestick back there from Hobby Lobby. The roosters I got when we were on our little um, 22 year anniversary trip last summer. I picked them up when we were there. And then I just put some of my white milk glass stuff up there on that shelf. And I'm happy with that. And then last week I went to Hobby Lobby and um, I hadn't been there in a long time. And I got this picture and it's just, you know, as you can see trees with hues of uh, dark, dark, orangey browns and blues and greens, and I just, I love the way it looks. And then I also got this little bucket right here. Uh, where did I pick that up or did I already have it? I'm not sure, but I got these baby breath while I was there at Hobby Lobby, and I put them in the buckets like they're spilling out. I don't know, maybe it looks weird. Um, and then this up here, I won in a contest one time. So, as you can see, I didn't do a lot of decorating in my kitchen, which I mean, I told you guys I probably what, wouldn't do that. I do have this candle ring hanging on this right here. And then I picked up... I've had these beads for a while, and I picked up these wood, um, I don't know, slices, I don't know, and I put them in this um, bowl, and uh, I got those at Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. I don't know why they were in the wedding section, but I thought I'd probably use those. And then I'm still really loving these square woven placemats. Here's that little tree that came in that crock I showed you a minute ago. And 
and I'm going to show you our master bedroom. There's a blanket with Christmas trees on it that I just stuck out of a little bushel basket thing I got. I've had that tree forever, but I forgot I had that garland and I found it when we were decorating the tree, so I strung it around the garland. I like a tree that doesn't have lights or just lights and no ornaments. And then this is our master bedroom. Now, my last home tour probably had the bed in this position. I got this big bright idea that I wanted to put the headboard over in front of that window. Why, I don't know, but my husband being the sweet guy he is, he let me have it that way and it lasted about two months. Didn't like it. Couldn't get back there to clean the blinds. I couldn't open the windows. I couldn't do anything back there. So this past weekend, we moved it back to this position. And then I've got just two little things that I picked up thrifting on either side of the window. And that little table there, I picked up while I was thrifting one day. And I just put a basket with a bunch of greenery coming out at the bottom. And then this um, box, it used to have flowers in it, but I repurposed it to hold my essential oils. And that's my oil burner there. So everything's like all right together. And then I just keep water in this little thing here. So I don't have to be running back to the sink to fill it up to burn my oils. And then I put a colored light bulb in. It's uh, orange. And at night, I'll usually turn that on. I can go to sleep with that light on, but any other light bothers me. Um, never mind the unsightly fan, but I have to have it at night because I just get too hot. And this is the TV stand that was in the front bedroom that I had mentioned before. And we moved it in here and I just put a pot of uh, faux greenery down there and the TV on here. Now we do have an adjustable bed but in order to see the tv you do have to put it up pretty high and when i'm ready to go to sleep i want the bed to be lowered back down because it you know crunches my back so i think and i've already kind of told him what's going to have to happen is the tv is probably gonna we're gonna probably have to buy a kit and he's gonna have to put that on the wall and, but guess what? Then I get all that extra space to decorate. So if you guys have noticed, I'm a little out of breath and I don't know why, but maybe it's just excitement talking to you and showing off my house. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to update the home tour and maybe we could do this again, you know, in, I don't know, summer. Um, and I can let you show or let you see what I, um, have done after that after I make this video so thank you for stopping by and we'll see you the next time bye